If you are struggling with creating marble nail art, in this video I will show you the fastest and the easiest way. Coming up! Hello guys, Anastasia here. I have a client with the outgrown enhancement and I just want to give a credit to this client because she did an amazing job. This used to be gel nails and they were pretty long but she didn't get a chance to do infill because she was traveling, so she filed them short and also filed a little bit on top to get rid of the excess thickness. And as you can see, it worked out great. She didn't damage her nails, she didn't broke any. So this is the perfect example of what you can do with extensions if by any chance you cannot go to the salon and do fill. I will start with taking off the product. I'm using carbide beads, the speed is about 22,000 rotations per minute. entire old product because on some nails we had some lifting and also it's been a while she said it's been more than a month so you know I just decided to take it all off and also we're going to do a soft gel overlay so this is why I did that but if we were doing extensions I would probably leave a thin layer on the nail now it is time to shape the nails and this kind of shape oval shape when the nails are already short is one of the most challenging for me, honestly, because we do not have much of the free edge to deal with, but we still need to create consistent shape. So the best tip I can give you is just take a look on the nail and usually the natural smile line, the white part, sometimes it's a bit uneven. So it's always better to start filing from the part that is located lower because once you shape it, then you can adjust the opposite side to it. Because if you will start with the one that is located higher on the nail bed, then you might not be able to match them after that. Next step will be pushing back the cuticles with a pusher. Make sure that you do it gently and it should never feel painful. Then I'm going to use a flame diamond bead and clean the sidewalls. The speed is now 16,000 rotations per minute. I use this bead to clean the space under the cuticle, the cuticles themselves, as well as the sidewalls. you are struggling with soft gel or gel polish chipping from the free edge, then this information will be useful for you, definitely. Now I'm using a buffer which is 220 grit and I'm buffing not only the surface just slightly because we just took off the old product, I do not need to do it a lot, but also I'm buffing the free edge as well as the surface under the nail a little bit so it will be clean and also super smooth because if you will not do it, we will have a very sharp free edge, which first of all is not very comfortable in everyday life, and second, it may cause product chipping. Then I am going to trim the cuticles with the scissors and buff the cuticles using a soft buffing bead. Normally this bead is designed to buff the surface of the nail, so it will be smooth, but you can also use it for normal or thin or sensitive skin, to buff it. You probably noticed that the condition of her skin and cuticles is perfect. It's because she is using cuticle oil two to three times a day and also she is pushing back the cuticles after taking a shower. So these are great tips, I always share them with my clients and the ones who follow it, this is kind of hands and nails that they have. So I just finished with the cuticle care and let's do an overlay. 
I will start with dehydrator, apply it on all five nails and usually once you apply it to one hand and then to the other, by the time you apply it on the last nail, the first one will be already dry. This is another tip for a better application and the product will not chip if you will do this using non-acid primer only on the free edge. Next step will be applying base coat. I always start with a super thin layer and then cure it for 30 seconds in LED. We decided to use milky white color for the background, but this design will look awesome with the bright white as well. I will need two coats to get an even and beautiful color. I'm done with the color application and now it is time to take off the sticky layer. Please always do it thoroughly, not just for the sake of beautiful nail art, but also to prevent any allergic reactions. I will be using a regular Sharpie black color and I'm going to apply it right on the nails. Create a few lines with intersections, but do not apply too much. You can always add up later if you will see that there's just not enough marble, but if you will have too much, it will look kind of dark and maybe untidy. Then we need to take the brush and please, please do not use your favorite one. It should be the one that you do not really care about. And I'm using a regular cleanse, you can also use alcohol, and let's start watering it down. And this is it, it's basically doing all the work for you. If you see that there is just too much liquid, too much of this black liquid flowing, then you can use a tissue or a lint-free napkin and simply clean it and keep working. So you can water it down a lot, you can do it just a little bit and you can also add additional lines if you feel like there is not enough. Now let's continue. As the marker does not require curing in the lamp, it just cures on air, so it requires about 3 to 4 minutes. So I think while I will be doing this hand, the first hand will be definitely dry. We were joking with this client that just imagine I will stop in this point and we will just seal it with a tough coat. That also looks kind of unusual, right? So on another hand, I finally got that it is better to kind of locate these lines how you would like the final look to be like. And yes, as you water it down with the alcohol, you can change the position and even the shape of these lines. But still, it's better to have some kind of picture in mind. You can use Pinterest and just search for any marble patterns. There are just hundreds of them and you will definitely find the one that you like. But like with any abstract design, it's literally impossible to plan it and to get the exact pattern that you like. So they will turn out differently anyways. So my strategy here is just to water it down into one direction so it will look some kind of an ombre. And if you wish to leave some areas just clean of marker and of gray color, then you can just take the brush with the alcohol and clean it. I happen to own just a black Sharpie but you guys can use any colors, just find a matching background and colorful marbles, they also look great.
we decided to add some golden accents. I'm using Marble Tint by Sherry. You can also use foil, chrome powder or glitter. Just please do not overdo it because at some point I was like, okay, the gold is not supposed to cover the entire surface. Then we need to let it dry for two to three minutes. It really depends on the products you're using. And the last step before you do one, please make sure it is all dry and then you can seal it with a top coat. We are done. Let me guys know what do you think of this design and have you ever tried using Sharpie in your art? Thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time here on my channel, consider subscribing as I post new nail art tutorials just like this one every week. See you in my next one. Goodbye!